Hey there, it's Walt. So I want to share with you today a power tool. I often speak about it in connection with time mastery. Sometimes I talk about it in terms of productivity. Today I want to talk about it in terms of resilience because there's so much emerging research and news around the pandemic after the pandemic. Brene Brown has talked about it. Dr. Jennifer Ashton has a new book around it. And the pandemic after the pandemic is the anxiety, the fatigue, the challenges, the mental illness challenges, the wellness, the emotional wellness challenges that are coming out of this last 14 months that have been very, very difficult for so many. And the numbers are significant of people who are really grappling with anxiety and depression and despair and grief. And so the clarion call is how do we come out of this time where we're going to move into an extraordinary period of opportunity, how do we come out of this time more resilient, more resourceful? And the power tool that I want to suggest to you is meditation. It is such a simple practice and it's thrown around in all sorts of ways and you see it in all sorts of places and in the recent suggestions, Dr. Jennifer Ashton, Bray Brown, people who are talking about this need to become more resilient and resourceful, they toss meditation into the mix as well. But I really want to focus on it today. It is a practice that I have done over the last, oh, 28 years um, with some decent consistency uh, during the pandemic uh, before, I before I broke the cycle with some travel and adventure, I had 387 days of consistency, not to impress, simply to inform. Uh, but over the last 28 years, there's been no single practice that has been more important to me in my life in terms of resourcefulness and resilience. And it's simple. It doesn't cost anything. You don't have to go anywhere. It doesn't have to involve any woo-woo stuff to it. It can be a very simple breath meditation. And there are lots of apps for it. You can get apps for it. You don't need an app for it. It involves, involves just sitting, and you don't need any special equipment for sitting. You can have a cushion if you want to, or you can do it in a chair. Five minutes a day of simply watching your breath. Now, I say simply. Uh, the great Jim Rohn said so many of the things uh, that lead to success are simple but not easy. You will find that your mind wants to wander after about 30 seconds. And all of a sudden, you'll be thinking about your grocery list or the fact that you need to change a light bulb or respond to an email. It's okay. All you need to do is come back to your breath and watch your breathing in and out. And then your mind will wander again and you'll be thinking about errands you need to do and tasks that are undone. And you bring your, your mind back to your breath and you watch the in-breath and the out-breath, the inflow and the outflow, and you just do that. There's, that's all there is to it. Now, over time, what's interesting is that scientifically, your stress levels will reduce. The levels of cortisol and inflammation in your body will reduce. You will become more focused. You will become more settled. In fact, there's research out of the University of Massachusetts, a lot of good research that shows that five minutes a day over six weeks will have very demonstrable uh, results for you. So, 
It's interesting because I will often introduce meditation to a group of professionals at executive wellness workshops at the end. Because a lot of times we as busy professionals, we're not terribly open to these things that might not sound like they're useful or practical, like planning tools and things like that. So I usually share, usually defer introducing meditation to the end of a time management and productivity program. And what's interesting is in the reviews, people will say things like, wow, you know, the best thing about this workshop was our discussion and experience of meditation. Never would have come to the workshop if I knew that's what we were going to do, but that was the most important thing that I'm taking away from this. A lot of times when I'm describing the benefits of meditation, I use the metaphor of the holiday globe. You know, that globe that you see around the December holidays where you shake it up and there are lots of flakes that are in it. And you put the globe down on the table and gradually the flakes settle to the bottom. That is the gift of meditation over time. And if you stay with it, day in and day out, just five minutes a day, just five minutes a day, it will have extraordinary returns on that short five minutes. The benefits will be extraordinary for you. You will be more grounded, more focused, more resilient, less battered by the winds that come at us in all of these tumultuous times. So I want to invite you as we move out of this very difficult period into this transition period uh, between the pandemic and post-pandemic, there'll be a lot, of, a lot of upheaval and upset during this period of time. And as I said, we are entering into some incredible opportunities. And to meet those opportunities well, we need to be grounded and resourceful and resilient. So meditation, it's a power tool. And I want to invite you to experiment it, experiment with it. Give it just six weeks and see what you think. You'll find yourself, I think you'll find yourself wanting to do more. Make it a great rest of the day, great rest of the week. Talk soon.